Hi, this is an open letter to John Stump, President, CEO, and Chairman of the Board of Wells Fargo Bank. Uh, Mr. Stump, or John if I may, I'm getting in touch with you today because I'd like to talk to you about these fees that are being discussed for debit card users. Debit cards are something most of us have, or many, many of us have, and now there's a lot of discussion about charging customers on a monthly basis three to five dollars for using these uh, cards because otherwise apparently you're going to have to suffer a tiny little bit of loss in revenue from how you charge or your maximum that you're allowed to charge vendors who make use of them. Whatever the issue may be, I'm here to tell you that I don't think it's a very good idea. Now I realize that Bank of America the granddaddy of them all, SunTrust and Chase, they're already moving in that direction. And I guess Wells Fargo is just still considering it. Citibank has already considered it, John, and they've decided that's not a very good idea because they've talked to their customers and their customers have made clear that they might, not to use an overused word, but bail from the bank if in fact this happens. Speaking of bailing, if you've not yet seen the movie, Too Big to Fail about how we bailed out the banks, consumers did, you know, take a moment or two, enjoy it. It's a movie I think you'd, you'd find quite interesting in context of all of this. But let's get back to debit card fees. John, there's a couple reasons I don't want you to do it. It sounds like nickel diming three, five dollars a month, but we're a little tired of these kinds of fees. And also, it just doesn't seem in sync with the values and the mission statement that I found on the Wells Fargo website. And in case you've not had an opportunity to look at that lately, I'm just going to read to you what you say about your relationship or the one that you advocate to have with your customers. Here's what it says, John. We value what's right for our customers in everything we do. We're proud to compete in an industry that's central to the growth of our national and local economies an industry where we do what's right for our customers and communities and make a fair profit at the same time. Our customers, external and internal, are our friends. We advocate for their best financial interests. We want them to feel as if they're part of the Wells Fargo family and that we're their bank. We put their long-term financial interests first by you have three bullet points. Let me just read them very quickly. Bullet point number one, starting every discussion with what's best for them. Nobody asked me about the debit card fee. I'd have remembered that. And I'm pretty sure that most of my friends would have remembered that too. We learned it from the media. Number two, exceeding the expectations of internal and external customers. We want to surprise and delight them. John, you might have surprised us. You sure have not delighted us with even having the discussion. I think you should go back and look at that again, as I said. And number three, finally, investing in long-term relationships that we want to last a lifetime. It's a worthy goal. You're not going to meet it this way. Citibank has already, as I said, talked to their customers, and people are just going to leave their bank if this is the way that it goes for them. You have something else interesting on your site, John. It's called Wells Fargo Cards in Every Wells Fargo Wallet. This is of interest. It says, this is number six in the same area, every one of our creditworthy customers should have a Wells Fargo credit card and debit card. Only one out of every three of our banking customers has a credit card with Wells Fargo. Nine out of every ten have a Wells Fargo debit card. Well. Shazam! Shazam, John, does this not sound like a home run if you're a banker, even if it's only $3 a month? If 9 out of 10 of your customers are using debit cards, I think somebody's going to save some money or make some money. My own recommendation would be instead of nickel-diming your customers or however many people perceive this, and all of my friends certainly do, I think really you should just take a look at your own bonuses and special uh, needs and goods that you get as being part of the banking empire that we bailed out. And I think perhaps maybe you ought to take a look at finding ways to nickel-dime yourself 
before you go ahead and start poking holes in your customer relationships, if you have any right now. Again, John, thank you so much for listening. I would have sent this through traditional ma mail. We still have a postal service at the moment. And, uh, but I fear that even after I bothered to you know, find myself a stamp and address it and all of this, somehow, just somehow, it would wind up in the trash. I wouldn't get a response. And if I did, it would be one of those kind of canned things. So I thought it best to just share it with you and others who may feel the same way through a, a simple video. Again, John, thank you so much for listening to me, and have a good day.